Hello everyone and welcome to the physics session by Ask ITNs. My name is Ashish Kumar and in this session we will be discussing a question related to the first law of thermodynamics. In this question there is a PT diagram uh, of a gas, it is an ideal gas and we have n moles of that gas and we have taken that in, in this thermodynamic cycle, this is a cyclic process. Okay, so n moles we have, suppose this is a monoatomic gas. Okay, so for this uh, uh, thermodynamic process, the BC process can be already seen from the diagram that it is an isobaric process. The C2A process is at occurring at a constant temperature, so this will be an isothermal uh, process. For the process AB, it is not uh, specified in the uh, question particularly that PT is equal to constant for this process. Okay. So, in the first part of this question, we have to find the work done for the process A, B, right. So, to proceed to find the work done, uh, first of all, we all know that the work done in a thermodynamic process of an ideal gas, work done is equal to integral V1 to V2 P D V, right. This is the uh, general equation of the work done, but in this question, uh, P and D, V both are varying, right. So, we need to find a substitute for this PdV in terms of one variable so that we can just write that here and we can just integrate this expression. I mean uh, PdV if, I, if we get in terms of one variable, suppose in terms of temperature if we get right then we can uh, use that substitute here and then we can find the work done. To proceed, uh, first of all see the first equation that has been provided to us Pt is equal to constant. Let us differentiate this equation on both the sides. We will get P dt plus dp t is equal to 0. Differentiation of constant is 0. All right. The second equation uh, that we can all use in all the thermodynamics question is the uh, ideal gas equation and that is PV is equal to nRT. Right. Similarly, we can differentiate this equation also we will get PdV. Our main aim is to substitute this PdV in terms of one variable that is in this case we are trying to uh, substitute in terms of temperature so that we can easily integrate it and get the work done. So, PdV plus dPv is equal to nRTT. All right. One more thing uh, in this equation let us substitute the P value. P from this is equal to from the ideal gas equation P value is nRT by V. Let us substitute this value here and if you replace that we get nRT dt over V plus T P T is equal to 0. All right. So, I can cancel the T's and I will just get n r t t plus d p v is equal to 0 right. So, uh, I can get this d p v uh, in terms of t n r d t d p v is equal to what minus n r d t. We can put this d p v value here and then we can get this p d v expression that we want to substitute here in terms of d t. Right. So, if we put the uh, dPv value here in this equation that we have got after differentiating uh, the uh, ideal gas equation. So, we will get P dV, dPv is minus nR dt minus nR dt is equal to nR dt. So, P dV we get as 2 nR dt. This is the PDV expression. Replace this here in the work done, and similarly, simultaneously, you have to change the corresponding uh, limits from V1 to T, uh, V2. In, we will use from T1 to T2, right? So, work done will be equal to integral the initial temperature. I can use uh, T1 and final temperature T2, and instead of PDV, I will write just 2 and R dt. Okay. And initial temperature you can get this uh, for the process A, uh, A to B initial temperature is 2 T naught this temperature is 2 T naught 
and this uh, final temperature is at the point P that is T naught. Okay. Integral of this 2 nr is a constant. This integral of this will be uh, 2 nr dt integral is T only. Put the limits T naught minus 2 T naught right? or minus uh, 2 nr T naught that will be the work done for the process A to B. Okay. In the second part of this question, we have to find the heat absorbed or released, that is heat exchange in each of these individual processes, that is from BC, CA, then AB, right? Let's try to find that. First of all, for the process B to C, it's an isobaric process. Now, for an isobaric process, the heat exchange is always equal to N. Cp dt, right? Now, in this case, Cp is the uh, specific heat at constant pressure for the ideal gas. In this case, the gas is the monoatomic gas. So, the Cp value for monoatomic gas is 5 by 2R, right? For this value, dt, the change in temperature for the process B to C is from T0 to 2T0, that is 2T0 minus T0, that is T0 only. Put that value, you will get the heat exchange for the process B to C. Okay, for the process C to A, it's an isothermal process. Again, for an isothermal process, the temperature is constant. The internal energy change is zero. The internal energy change, delta U, for the isothermal process is zero. Okay, so the heat exchange in the process is equal to the work done in the process. Now, to find the work done in the process C to A, that's just using the first law of thermodynamics, delta Q is equal to W plus delta U. Delta U is 0 for an isothermal process. So, work done in process C, uh, heat exchange in the process C to A is equal to the work done in the process C to A and the work done for an isothermal process is given by N R T L N V2 by V1. Right? Instead of, uh, because uh, here the temperature is 2T naught, the temperature at which the uh, isothermal process is occurring, that is CEA process is occurring and V2 and V1 are the volumes, that is the final volume over the initial volume. But we do not know the volumes, uh, we can either use the ideal gas equation or just in, instead of the ratio of the volumes, we can use the ratio of the pressures, right? inverse ratio. So V2 by V1 mean, uh, B equal to, we can replace this ratio by T1 by P2, P1 is the initial pressure, initial pressure is 2P naught final pressure is P2, final pressure is P0. Put that value, you will get the work done and that work done is the heat exchange in the process C to A. For the process A to B, if you have to find the heat exchange, in this case, again, you have to apply the first law of thermodynamics and if we apply that, delta Q is equal to work done plus delta U. Now, work done we have already found. Work done for the process A to B, we just already found before, right? Use that. So, work done in the process A to B, we already found and delta U for the process A to B. Now, delta U is equal to N C V delta T, okay, for all the gases. So, N is the number of moles, C V is the molar heat capacity of the gas at constant volume. In this case, it is a monoatomic gas, so the C V value will be 3 by 2 R. And the process A to B, the temperature change has occurred from 2 T naught to T naught, that is final temperature is T naught. So, the final minus initial temperature will be taken as T naught minus 2 T naught. Put these values and you can get the heat exchange for the process A to B. Okay, so this is basically a typical th uh, uh, question from the first law of thermodynamics that are, uh, you have given a uh, diagram, PV diagram, PT diagram, TV diagram and subsequently you have to find the work done a heat exchange this is the i mean general uh, procedure to solve any of these any of these type of questions okay thank you